is God. Welcome back to Color Me Glucose. Today I'm going to show you on my phone how we set up the spy cap with the Freestyle Night Rider. Um, with, excuse me, with the Ambrosia Night Rider. So here we go. As you see, I have the phone recording going here. And um, hey, what's Color happening Squad. is I'm showing um, you the spy cap is, now. Everybody's been Color asking me, um, how glucose. to connect the Night Rider oh, to the spy cap. You click on the upper left hand corner of your app. And that'll happen here in a couple of seconds here. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so I'm so sorry I'm new at doing this, so bear with me here. Click on the upper left-hand corner of your Spike app. And you physically will see in this section where you're able to go ahead and start um, the process for your Night Rider. So, not sure why the screen is not moving, but uh, let's figure something out here. Okay, so there it goes. So you click on that, and then you go to um, Settings, Go to Transmitter, and then you're going to um, BlueCon, clicking on BlueCon, and it's asking for the last five digits of the actual um, transmitter for your Knight Rider. You type in BLU in capital letters, then you type in those last five digits. So that's what you'll see me doing here momentarily. And bear with me here. I'll get better with these. It's just going to take a little time for me to get used to doing it this way. This is the first time me making one of these like this. Once that's done, you're end up you're going to end up putting and clicking back so you can start the transmitter. And that process will set up here um, shortly once we get those five letters in there. So. Then. I'm clicking back and then I click back again physically so that I can set up the physical um, start the physical center so you got to click on the three bars in the upper left hand corner click sensor and then you have to have the exact time and well not the exact but close to it the um, around the time that you started the actual transmitter for your freestyle so that way it will go through right and you'll get the right readings and you'll get a message pop up saying that so go ahead and you're gonna click OK and then once you click OK and I'm sorry I'm getting a lot of messages during this time frame too as well you I started mine today at 325 p.m. Eastern Time so I'm scrolling back as you see right there to 325 and then once I get that you click get started and it'll tell you about the 10 minute time frame that you're going to get some calibrations after the warm up and then you're going to go ahead and click OK. If you follow these steps, you will be able to initialize your spike app with your Knight Rider and it run correctly. And then um, in this actual um, recording, I actually show you also where you can at, um, set your watch up for these or how you can also see it on your phone too as well and I'm still getting people messaging me so I do apologize about that guys um, keep watching here but you will see it so I went back in and I'm showing you now where to physically go and look for integration with your um, how to use Night Scout and then it's in the integration section right there how to use Night Scout or Pebble or Garmin or um, even the Spike app itself through the calendar compilation on your watch. Um, all their instructions are there. If you follow those instructions, it's really hard to get this wrong. It really is. But if you need help, go on Facebook and look for the Spike group, Spike app group. They do have a um, link in the Facebook area and you can get the request from them too to um, actually download the Spike app on your phone and what you're going to be looking for when you download it is it's going to be under um, test flight that's how you get the app I also go in here and show you that I've already set up my alarms 
and how to put the widget on your phone too. You may have to, if you're having a problem getting your readings to show up every five minutes, you may have to go into advanced settings and set that up with uh, either aggressive or very aggressive to get those readings because your spike app is working with your Bluetooth on your phone, on your um, device. So if your device is interfering because you have a lot of different things, that's why you're having problems. You can use Night Scout with this and I do show you guys I already have my night scout set up I've used it before right now I'm using Dexcom still for another week with the app I do like the app a lot but I will be switching over before it's over with and using trying this out with my Dexcom I do appreciate you guys watching these videos and I hope this helped out a lot if you want a video on how to set up your night scout I can give you a preliminary, but it is kind of detailed, and that would be a super long video, but you do need one of two things. You have to set up an account on GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B, and you should set up an account also on either Heroku or there's another section, but if you go to Night Guard on Facebook, there's people there that can help you, and they'll send you the website links and everything and show you how to walk through setting it up. That can be kind of intricate, but because I've done this and been fooling with it. I literally took a couple of weeks to a couple months because I got sick in between the time frame I was doing this to try to figure it out. But things will work out, you guys. As soon as you get this set up, you will start seeing on your watch and also on your phone, you will start seeing all of your readings through either the Night Scout, the Night Guard, or the Spike app. And like I said, this is the section right here where I'm setting up, showing you how you can change different compilations on the calendar for your um, watch and what you show physically, like in your favorites and things. So that way you can easily pull up the information for either your Dexcom app or your Spike app on your actual device on your watch. So I went through and changed my favorites. You can only have 10 in that section so I changed my settings so all I have is um, the ones I know I definitely use and I got rid of maps because I don't really use it on there for my favorites it's in my watch but I don't use it I do use Dexcom a lot and I use the spike app for my freestyle which I will be using shortly for my Dexcom and then I also use Night Scout and Night Guard so I can still get my readings and I even show you a section in here how I dedicated just one watch um, face to these uh, well actually two watch faces to these to this particular app and the night scout app as well and the night guard so that way I can always see my readings and graphs and things on my actual watch because I work in a technical field and I'm not always able to take the time to sit there and test I need to make sure I can keep track of my actual readings for my blood sugars and let me tell you Dexcom is a total game changer, you guys, and this app is a complete game changer. But if you keep watching, you'll see how you can um, go through and get your readings for your Spike app if you're using it and you want to see those from your calendar. You have to go into compilations on your Watch app and click calendar and only uncheck all those other ones except for Spike so it doesn't get any interference. And then on your Watch, you will be able to see just your Spike um, app readings itself it'll show up in the middle if you set it up and I'm going to show you that on your watch faces where to set it up at and like I said I have a lot of watch faces but I use certain ones just for this one and I found out I think it's modular that one works the best for um, setting up your spike app but I also use Toy Story 2 every once in a while because I use it at the bottom and you see me here changing it on, um, I put it on the bottom instead of battery I went down and put down night scouter so that way I can um, see my actual physical readings for my spike app as well because I've got mine running through night scouter and then I set that up as a current one if I wanted to or I showed you module which is the one I have been using lately and I have my Dexcom set up in the middle my um time my date up top my time on the other side then I have my activity and my weather and then on the one side instead of using calendar since I haven't been using it lately I am actually going to set up Night Scouter there so that way I can see what my Spike app is doing and compare how accurate my Spike app is to my Dexcom because I'm really curious. I'm a heavy techie, so I'm so curious it's not even funny. So I set that up on my watch, and that's what's currently showing on my watch right now. So I'm just waiting for the readings to come through from my Spike app.
And um, if you don't get it set up successfully first time, keep trying. It will pick it up. But like I said, if you have a bunch of other apps running with Bluetooth, and I know my Dexcom is running right now, it may keep it from getting the readings. A couple of times I actually had to go and set it up more than one time. So I'm sorry. I know this is kind of a long video, but thank you guys for sticking with me on these videos. I will try to do more videos like this if you want to. I know it helps to have more help because it, it everybody's not a tech. It's just one those things and even though I'm a techie you guys this was not easy technology the guys who developed this I really give their props out to them because they're super smart people they really are so um I took engineering classes in college and I still use my engineering skills for different things and this has helped me be able to get these sections correct so I just want to let you guys know I really do appreciate you sticking by me and hanging out with me at color glucose and for all the newbies coming in wait color squad wait until you see the things that are coming up on this channel I am going to be doing a lot of collabs with a bunch of different um, diabetics I'm currently um, going to be doing a series with um, Diabet diabetic energetic so watch that that's coming up this summer um i'm gonna reach out to a couple of other diabetics i'm trying to do something with um a few different well-known ones and uh, even small group ones because i'm not a big uh i'm not a big youtuber i'm a small diabetic youtuber um but i'm i'm doing what i can to help you guys out so thank you so very much for watching have a great day i have some surprise coming up i will be doing an unboxing for and I'm packaging actually for pump peels that I just got in and I did place another order for some more because I'm getting a new pump you guys so you will see in the pump peels what pump I'm going to be using along with my Dexcom soon and then in a few days here I'll be getting my new pump so I'll be doing an unboxing for that as well so if you want any more videos like this let me know I'll do my best to try to make them bear with me here on how I'm making them because I got to get used to the software I need to get Final Cut Pro because it's a little bit better than what I'm using now. I'm using iMovie. If you guys wonder what I'm using, I am using iMovie. But I totally appreciate you guys sticking in there for me and helping me out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.